Inquiries are most powerful when a specific selection of records is displayed that meets desired criteria. To access the Filters function, you can use the Toolbar button, or the Edit menu, or the F6 shortcut key. Then click the New button to create a filter. Give the filter a unique name, as this will be used for selection from the Toolbar drop-down. The overall result of this formula needs to be either true or false, as the purpose is to decide when a record should be displayed. The large white space is a text pad where the formula is entered. You can type into this area, and copy and paste text functions are also available, useful when creating multiple filters with similar formulas, or filters that require many similar conditions. Spaces and line breaks do not affect formulas, so use these to make formulas easier to read. Click OK to save the formula. The left side has quick links to insert fields, calculated columns, and functions into the formula space with the correct syntax. When inserting a function, not only is the function name inserted at the cursor, but so are parentheses and the required commas for separating function parameters if applicable. When you double click on a field, either from the dictionary or selected fields or calculated columns list, the name gets inserted at the cursor surrounded by curly parentheses. When using filters, you can choose to have the selected records be sorted in a particular way by attaching a sort sequence to the filter. Also, attach row formatting to highlight a number of more important records within the filter. And, if you set a sort sequence, you can summarize the records by default to the sorted fields. You do not need to include an equal sign as part of the formula. When the formula is done, you can verify that the syntax is correct. If you're not sure how to use a formula, the help file gives examples for every function. If there are filters you use on a regular basis, you can export them to a text file. Then, when working on a different view, use the import process to bring them in as new filters. Click the OK button to save the list of filters. To use filters, click the Toggle Filter button to enable the drop-down list. Then, select the desired filter. If you have many filters to find, use the Filter Toolbox from the View menu to combine multiple filters together. Select them one way to choose records that meet all filter criteria, another way to choose records that matches at least one filter, and even choose records that don't meet the filter. There are unlimited reasons for using filters. Here are a few common examples. Select records with a specific code value with leading and trailing spaces removed. Display records with a desired status. Prompt the user to enter a value for comparing against a text field, a numeric field, or a date field. Pick records with a numeric value greater than the specified limit, or date older than a particular date, or within a floating date range. Determine if a value appears at the beginning or end of a code or a description, or at a specific placement, or anywhere within the text. Using filtered inquiries makes it easy to analyze your company data and see the information that matters most. For more information about Adagio Accounting, use these on-screen links or from the video description. Thanks for watching.